As far as the people that we do need to test, however, any recent hospitalization, antibiotics in the last three months, anybody with very severe illness defined by severe hypovolemia, greater than six bowel movements per day, or severe abdominal pain, any signs that are concerning for inflammatory diarrhea, which is defined by any temperature greater than 101.3, bloody or mucoid stools, high risk host features, for example, age greater than 70, significant medical comorbidities such as heart failure or pulmonary hypertension, which may be exacerbated by significant dehydration or fluid resuscitation, known inflammatory bowel disease, pregnancy or immunocompromised state, symptoms lasting greater than one week, or if there are public health concerns, for example, if there is a recent outbreak of Giardia or recent outbreak of EHEC, for example. So for any patients that actually meet these criteria, further testing and evaluation would be indicated. 